Hello, welcome back to the HVAC Budget Channel, video number 67 detailing multi-tools. Today we're going to be looking at the Leatherman Surge. Now, first of all, before I get into the exciting new tool I added to the Surge, I wanted to go over what I've done to the pouch. So I have added the Klein, this is going to be like the three in one or the four in one, it's their HVAC model. This has the Schrader core and then it has the Phillips and the flat on the other side. So this I use every day and it fits pretty nicely in here. On the other side, this is a tool I sort of put together. This is going to be, I believe it's the Keyport pen. And then I took a knife apart and I used heat shrink to uh, mold these two together and it works very well. I've been using this for about a week and I'm pretty happy with the outcome. All right, so let's get into Leatherman Surge. One of the things that makes a Leatherman Surge the king of multi-tools is that it has a couple things that other multi-tools don't. First of all, the Leatherman Surge has a really nice Leatherman bit kit and the adapter or the adapter that can um, have Leatherman proprietary bits in it. The other thing, the main thing, is the blade exchanger. Now, I don't know of hardly any other multi-tool that has a blade exchanger. So I wanted to really capitalize on this, and I wanted a utility knife added to a Leatherman multi-tool, and so I thought, why not do it to the search? Now, I've seen on Texas Tool Crib, the multi-tool forum, different people have added just a couple of multi-tools. I've never seen this done. And I bought a $4 or $5 scalpel off of eBay, and I was able to turn it into this tool. All right, so let's go ahead and make sure I don't cut myself. Hold on to this fairly well. And if I can get, there it is, the right side. This is a little tough to get off at times. There we go. And there it is. All right, so what I did is I was able to take this to the bench grinder and obviously it had about a six inch handle and I was able to cut it down and make the necessary cuts to make it fit very solidly into this sort of uh, T-shaped handle. Now, basically any tool will work as long as it's thin enough. That's the first thing. It has to be thin enough to fit in here. I had to grind this down a fair bit to get it thin enough to fit. It still could, it's probably still a little bit thick. That's why this has a little hard time closing. Um, but the other thing is it has to fit between these notches and then you want it to be pretty close to your original file or saw so that it fits in snugly. So I was able to make those adjustments, get that in there, and then this actually fits really nice. So that's, that's nice and tough, and my, this blade is sharp. Now this is a very cheap scalpel, so it's sort of odd how it works. You slide it down and then it sort of hangs out on the side, but there are a couple different blade types you can get with even these very cheap scalpels and razor sharp and I love how it is replaceable as well. That way I don't have to worry about um, putting, not undue stress on the blade, obviously the knife blade's there for a reason, but I just like utility blade because then I can just quickly, it doesn't matter what I cut, maybe I shouldn't be cutting, I can just replace the blade. So a uh, pretty nice option there. I've got a couple more ideas. I want to try to add the Leatherman's, uh, not the Leatherman, the SOG, the SOG uh, seat belt cutter and see if that will fit in here. I'm not sure that it will. I like to order that part on SOG's website. You can order just the single individual parts. So we'll see if that works. And then I have an exciting new tool I want to add on to here, if possible, that will totally revolutionize how valuable the surge is. It will just make it tremendously valuable for me. So that's what I have planned for the new year. Hope you guys enjoy your Christmas. Happy New Year. We'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe.